Hi fashion sewers, it's Colleen G. Lee here and in today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to use one of these and I call it a stitch unpick. Some of you may know it as a unpicker, um, a seam ripper and it has quite a few names but that's what it looks like and I think this is one of your true best friends in sewing projects. Now here we have a close-up view of the stitch and pick and the cutting part of the stitch and pick is here. There's a sharp blade area just there and that is what actually cuts the thread. Here you get a point at the end and another pointy end here but it has this little ball in order to protect yourself more than anything else from being actually injured from the, the blade itself. Now as you can see it's in two sections. This is the lid and it's also for protection to make sure that they, they don't injure you while you've got them in your sewing box or where, wherever. And also you can use it as an extension part of the actual handle. Okay, so the one behind it, as you can see, it's now lengthened because I put the cover on the handle part. So now you've got a longer space there. And there, you can see there isn't a ball on top of this one here. But um, that's all about really expense the more you pay for that one with the protection. And that's um, a seam ripper. How not to use a stitch and pick is like so. Because look, that is what has happened. See, it's only just half the job and your sewing project is ruined. And this is how to use your stitch and pick. Find the stitching that you want to release, pull, Put it in again and pull, and pull, and you eventually get your job done. And then you just pull out the threads. Now that is what they call a stitch and pick, and it's a fashion sewing girl's best friend, or at least one of them anyway. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in my next video.